Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. We have just finished talking to Tracy. We also talked to Bonnie a little bit, and then our DJ came back, <laughs> said some things to us about how Tracy is now suddenly in a contract for $3 million if this all goes tits up, which it kind of already has. So now we've got to get to the bottom of that, too. Well, nothing much to do now. We finished talking to Trucy in the last one, so I think what we have to do now is go back to the dressing room. I believe that's what they said. Either that or we just go to the theater in general. We also still have to look at the stage because I believe we also have to look under the stage. But I, I believe in the last one, Apollo mentioned something about going back to the dressing room maybe to talk to someone, but I don't know if there's going to be anybody here. So let's see what happens. Either way, this has been a very long investigation. I'm very surprised about that, actually. Okay, this is where Trucy signed the contract. Right, and there must have been some kind of trick that was used when she signed it. The question is, what kind of trick and how was it done? If some kind of object or tool was used, there'd still be a trace of it somewhere. <laughs> Don't. Maybe. Okay, maybe. Like with the pen or the paper. How are we going to find that in here? Well, it's time to find the secret to that trick. Off gets. Let's do this. Let's do it. Uh, I guess, wh what didn't we examine already in here? Has anything changed? Did I, was this always here? No, it was because I have the examine on it. Wait, uh, was this always here? This the, oh, I can examine it. And there's not, what's this? That wasn't there before, was it? Hey, look at this clipboard. Whose is this? Could you sign this, please, ma'am? Sure thing. Just the one sheet in the clipboard, right? All oh, right. And so then they then they added like an addendum about the three million dollars that wasn't there before. Isn't this the clipboard that Trucy used when she signed the contract? I think you're right. Let's give it the once over. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Okay. So let's just examine the entire thing first and foremost. Let's try opening the folder. What's in here? It's got a little pocket for the thing. Some papers. This is the thing that holds it, right? Like the little screw thing. This part here holds papers in place. Could this clip have something to do with how they conder? I don't... Ow! It bit me! Oh, right, it's, you know what, it's one of those, like, alligator claw things, right? With the teeth in it that holds the paper. Those do hurt, by the way. I haven't seen one of those since I was a kid in school, though. Only you could get hurt by a clipboard, Athena. Listen, it happens. We don't know. Uh, oh, we can examine these little parts, the little corners. It's just a screw. <laughs> That's what she said. Huh. That observation won't get you any laughs. I don't know, I laugh though. Oh, well, I, have a, I have a bad sense of humor though. <laughs> Whoops. What? Do I have to make with the funny all the time? Don't worry, I'll try to do it for you, Apollo. <laughs> Except, <laughs> spoiler alert, I'm not funny at all. Wait, we have to do all of them? Oh, okay. This screw won't budge. I don't even think your crazy strength could budge it. Crazy strength? What kind of thing is that to say to a delicate young lady? I don't see you denying it either. Listen, Athena is a delicate young lady. It's probably something on the back that we need to look at. It looks like a screw. I guess that means this clipboard can be taken apart. But I can't loosen this one without a screwdriver. All right, is this going to come up empty? Because as far as I know, we don't even have anything that would work. But you can still look at all these for some reason. Hey, this one. It's different from the others. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. Not only that, but... I think it's loose. Look, I can move it. Are you sure you should be fooling with it like that, Apollo? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Twitter's gonna be, Twitter's gonna be busy. Oh, hey, look at that. Whoa, it came right out. Mm -mm. Guys, <laughs> see, I tried to tell you, but would you listen? No. Huh? Hey, look through the whole thing. <laughs> All right, some people do get on my case and they're like, geez, Luca, you make everything into an innuendo, man. Like, I don't understand how you do it. Listen, it's not just me, though, truly. Like, it's not just me, guys, right? Oh, wow, you're right. What is it? 
What is back there? What do we what do we do? Uh Alright. Uh oh oh maybe we have to maybe we have to look at the back of it? I think so. Yeah, okay. Oh! Oh, sure enough, look, you can see there's a panel. Well, we would have noticed that right away if I looked at that first. Hey, look, the back panel is loose. I, I think I can take it off. Oh, look at that. Got it. You're just breaking things left and right today, aren't you? Look, there's something inside. That looks like carbon paper. Is that what that is? Huh. What is this black sheet of, I want to say, paper? <gasps> oh, you know what it, you know what they probably did? They probably got Tracy to sign the real contract, get her signature on the carbon paper, and use it to put it over as a forge on the new addendum on the contract. Oh, I bet you that's what it is, because that's carbon paper for sure. I know, it's carbon paper. You put it between two pieces of paper, and it copies what you write on the bottom one. So, when Trucy signed the contract, mmm, that's really shady. There was actually another contract underneath. And her signature on the top contract got copied onto the hidden one. Wow, crafty though. That's how Trucy was conned. Sure enough. I mean, who would think? Well, that just shows us. Check every freaking like, binder. This is that ratings Raja's doing. I just know it. How dare he? You gotta hand it to him, though. It couldn't have been easy fooling Trucy. That girl's no slouch. Yeah, but I bet we can use this clipboard as evidence if we ever take this to trial. What do you mean if we ever take it to trial? Aren't we doing that? <laughs> Isn't that the thing that we're actually actively doing? Ooh, the music changed, though. Hello? I freaking love it. Is anything else in here new? That seems like a very important piece of evidence that we have just found. Um, I don't think anything else was moved. No, everything else seems to be something that we've already clicked. All right, um, so should we move, should we move to the stage now then? Hmm, I, I do love this music though. This is really great. We still haven't seen the understage. So that's obviously gonna be a part we have to go to now. Hello, Emma, you still here? All right. Doing her serious work. Let's see. We should be able to get to the understage passage from backstage. Hopefully, Bonnie unlocked the door for us like she said she would. All right, so let's do that. How do we, I guess we just hit the backstage like we did before to go back there. So let's just do that. Back to the backstage. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it was over here. The door's unlocked. Oh, Pog, let's do it. Thank you, Bonnie. Well, Athena, let's go. Oh, he said, here we go. But yeah, you know, splitting hairs. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, there's the two platforms that Trucy described. Right, okay. Let's look at down here. There's a lot of stuff. Sure is dark and dusty down here. The Abyss. The magical underworld. And look, there's a denzin of the Abyss now. A fearsome beast with long, sharp fangs, ready to prey on unsuspecting souls. Wait, what? Huh? What do you- Oh, you mean that tiny little rat over there? Ew! No, I mean that fearsome beast over there. I take it you don't like rodents. Well, how many rats are down here? Well, listen, pet rats are really cute, but, mm, but wild rats? I don't think- No, they carry disease and stuff. <laughs> it's a terrible idea all around, to be honest. All right, let's examine everything here. Look at all these props. Hey, there's something in this hat. A dove? Cards? Um... A juice box and some snacks? Listen, who wouldn't put that in their hat? I would. Looks like someone planned to have a little treat in the middle of the show. That's hard work. <gasps> oh, I just saw it run by. Ew, did you see that? Jesus Christ, that scared me a little. Okay, so look at all these things here. I mean, the sword amongst them, but like, obviously we're gonna look at everything. The sword is the exact same design as the murder weapon. Wait. What's this? Ah! Ow, what are you doing? That hurts. I, I think I'm bleeding out. Oh, stop being such a drama queen. It's only rubber. <laughs> oh no, she pulled out a dildo and clocked him with it. Huh? Oh, hey, you're right. So this must be the sword that Trucy used during the trick. 
After the incident, someone must have switched this rubber sword with the real one on stage. And maybe that's when they brought the rubber sword here. Okay. So sword stand out of the court record contains the rubber sword that Trucy said she swapped in for the trick. Right, okay, I guess we can't look at the rest of the items in there, just the sword, it's probably the most important. All right, what's this then? It's a stage lift for getting up to the stage. It looks like this crank lowers the platform. But Trucy said it's impossible for one person to do it alone. She did say that. That sounds like a challenge, now I wanna try it. <laughs> Did you do it? I mean, she's strong, too. <sighs> it's probably just broken. Or you could just take people at their word. Listen, Athena's pretty strong, right? So if she can't move it, I guess that's that. If I'm reading this room right, this must be the stage lift Trucy moved during the show. Originally, it was there, where stage lift one is now. Stage lift two added to the court record. The stage lift that choose. Oh, oops. I didn't read it in time. I, I, I clicked the button way too fast. My B. Let's read it. The stage lift Trucy had to move out of the way during the show since it was already all the way up. Okay, so wait a minute. Is it back in place now? Because judging by the picture that we had of her doing it, I feel like it's been moved already. Or am I? Did I? Am I wrong? Oh my God! There's the mouse. It's just going. What's this glowy stuff? Oh, it's glow-in-the-dark tape. Hey, this must be what I saw through the secret door in the bottom of the coffin. But who put it here and why? Well, it's probably a marker of some sort since it's so dark down here. Sounds about right. Maybe it's meant to mark which ladder to climb. Yeah, probably where you have to stand for the thing to work, right? Is that for all of the tape? The red and the yellow. Oh, okay. All right, so this one? It's a stage lift for getting up to the stage. Trucy, move this one here. I guess it used to be where that yellow tape is. Oh, okay, so I read the picture backwards, my bad. She was moving it out of the square. How in the world did she manage to move this huge thing? It couldn't have been easy for her. She's pretty petite. But I bet it'd be easy for you. Just what are you implying? That's it, chump. You're looking up microaggressions later. And leave her alone. I think Athena's very dainty. Like, what's wrong with her, actually? Jeez. That mouse, are we supposed to, like, grab that or anything? It's just a little bit crazy. Also, uh, can we move to the n another place, or is this is this it? Did we look at everything? We must have missed something. But what? No, that's good, that's good, that's good. Hmm. What about, like, these things? No, like, I didn't know if, like, these little pop-ups are any different. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, what are we, what's up here? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, that counts as a ladder. I didn't see what it was. It's kind of dark up here. Oh, well, now I see it, I think, up at the top. This ladder goes up to the ceiling. I wonder what's just above. Oh, I see them now. Okay, sorry. I For some reason, I just thought those were, like, <laughs> vertical poles. Apollo? All right, fine, I'll climb the ladder. Why does it always have to be ladders? It's always ladders of some kind in these games, right? It, it's happened before, but he doesn't like heights. So hopefully he'll be okay up here. Huh? Where am I? It's pitch black and cramped too. You know what I think? I think you're in that coffin we saw backstage. Hmm, so that's where this ladder leads? Oh, of course, okay. But I still don't get what that coffin was for. That's definitely gonna be important. So wait, okay, so we looked at, did we look at, we looked at one of these, this one. So this one is also a ladder. We should look at that too. This ladder goes up to the ceiling. So I guess it leads to one of the trap doors on stage. Oh, that mouse running by keeps startling me. Trucy must have used this ladder when she escaped from the coffin. Why don't you climb up there and see if I'm correct? All right. Make him climb again, I see. It's not so high. You'll be fine, right? Huh? Why me? Well, because she's got a skirt on that we could see right up it. You'd make a young lady wearing a skirt climb a ladder? I knew it! <laughs> what did I, I told you. Why am I Athena? Fine, I'm going, I'm going. 
All right, so what's up on this one then? Probably just again to the trap door. Ah, the lights, it burns. It burns us precious, it freezes us. Ow, did you fall? Are you all right? I can now confirm the ladder does indeed lead up to the stage. Well, that tasty bit of info was definitely worth risking life and limb for. Well done. Hold on, Apollo. I hear voices. Uh, quick, hide. Wait, why? We're allowed to be down here. Uh, ow, quit shoving. Hurry up and get down there. Guys, oh shit. <laughs> Yo, my arm doesn't bend that way. Wait, who are we hiding from? Don't we have permission to be down here? What's the problem? What the heck, Athena? Shh, look. She doesn't care. She, she told us we could come down here. Oh, it's so much work pretending to be cute and sweet. Oh no, I fucking knew it. No, girl, why? Damn it, I said in the last one. You guys heard me say it, I called it. Isn't that Bonnie? Hey, Bunny, wait for me. And the ratings, Raja. What are they up to? What do we have to hide for, Athena? Because I heard something funny. There was something off in their voices. Oh, right. Athena's super sensitive hearing. That is true. Aww. Those lawyers are poking around trying to stir up trouble. Should I be worried? Relax, I didn't say anything to the police and I won't say anything to them either. <laughs> you better not or you're gonna get it. Pow, right in the kisser. All right, there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> get her in a, like a bus driving outfit. What the? Is it just me or does Bonnie seem kind of different from before? I fucking knew it, damn it. Hate when that happens and it always happens too. Hello, shh. I'm like sick and tired of this whole investigation. All I want is Tracy's head on a platter. No, 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 excuse me. I've got, I've got words because like you can't be hotter when you're evil, but they always are somehow. God, I hate being me. <laughs> Leave everything to me, babe. Don't forget the power of mass media. Damn, it's like the V's over here. TV can accomplish anything. I'll make sure Tracy gets a much worse than a guilty verdict. Oh no, these two. <laughs> I can't wait to see that girl crying and begging for mercy. You really hate Trucy, don't you, Bunny? I hate her. I loathe her. I can't stand that Trucy right. Just because she's a good at magic, she thinks she's all that. This is exactly what that sniveling brat deserves. Hey, what the heck? If you mess this up, you are gonna really be sorry, you hear me? I'll crush you flat, like a cockroach under my foot. Oh, she's into, oh, you cute little thing. You're so adorable when you're throwing a fit. Oh no, motherfucking Valentino and Velvet over here. Okay, sorry, I've got husband on the brain. It's like I've got major brain rot. Ow, ow, my foot, can't you take a joke? Come on, grab my things, we're leaving. Jeez, okay. Don't oh, bleed the hippity hoppin' in way, my little bun bun. Wow, what a simp. Okay. Ew, all right, well, that just happened. Oh shit, what do we do now? I knew that was gonna fucking knew it. What was that absolutely revolting scene all about? I guess the entertainment industry attracts all kinds of eccentrics. Listen, it's just feet, no big deal. That conversation, it set off every red flag in the book. <laughs> you think? You said it. I smell plot with a capital P, you. <sighs> Rettens claims he was at the TV station at the time of the incident. And we saw Bonnie on stage ourselves. Hey, Apollo, I have an idea. Why don't we pay Take Two TV a visit? Oh, I'm sure they'll love that. We can check up on the ratings Raja's ability, uh, alibi, sorry, while we're there. I can't read today. Sounds like a plan. Right, okay, is there anything new to talk about since we've moved a couple of times? Do you have any ideas about what's going on here? So if we can't pay back the money, I'm off on a tuna expedition for a TV show? Cheer up, Apollo. You have to have a positive attitude about these things. 
Mmm, tuna. I want to eat tuna tartare. Oh, shit, that is good. Although, herb crusted seared tuna sounds good to. Ooh, girl, you're making me hungry, please. I haven't eaten yet today. Which one do you think sounds better, Apollo? This is not the conversation I would have picked for this very epic music that we're having. Having a positive attitude is one thing, but I have zero intention of going tuna fishing. Oh, Phooey. She really thought I was gonna go? Listen, she wasn't sure. All right, girl, this music is great. What do we do? Any bright ideas on how to get us through this crisis? Uh, our biggest problem right now is how to pay the money. You know, in times like this, we should consult a lawyer. Uh, gee, now why didn't I think of that? Can we consult ourselves? Wait. Oh she, was, oh, she was thinking of it. Okay, I guess we just move. Man, this music is great. Holy crap. All right, there's the studio right there. Right, so let's just go to it, shall we? Okay. Oh, shit, look at this. Fucking Wheel of Fortune. No, it's a roulette machine. It's roulette and slots and stuff. Looks fun, though. All right, the TV studio. Oh, my God, look at this place. There's so much going on at once. It's making my head spin. Look at that screen and listen to those hosts. Magical murder. Live audience witnesses shocking skewering. Ew. 17-year-old magician, Trucy Wright. See exclusive unedited footage of the heinous crime, complete and uncut. We can't let them broadcast that. Trucy will get tried in court of public opinion. Well, I doubt we can stop them from airing it. But we can prove her innocence in a real court of law. No matter what garbage they report on TV, we can set the record straight at the trial. God, I hope you're right. Holy shit, look at this place, though. Oh, here's the funny music again. All right, well, let's let's just start. I'm gonna start, I guess, from the left to the right. Excuse me. We're looking into the incident that happened at the magic show this morning? Oh, that? Yeah, I was the cameraman for that. Can you tell us anything about what you saw? Bonnie was soups of dorbs. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not exactly what I... I couldn't get enough of her. I filmed her the whole time. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> okay, so you were the guy behind that. Got some primo footage if I didn't say so myself. <laughs> I better quit before he decides to share what he intended to do with it. Oh, we already know. This is different. Oh, yeah, we can talk to all the people. Look. I wonder what that guy sitting down there is doing. Hmm, it looks like he's reading that script it's holding. What, are you serious? Those two are gonna break up? What? And the series is gonna on hiatus because the cartoon is sick? No way! Oh, I think he's reading a comic book he's hiding in a script. If you're gonna goof off on set, that's a pretty bold way to do it. <laughs> that guy's playing Galaga. It's always the thing I default to. Pardon me. I know you're busy right now. What are you guys? Street? Street? Does that mean people off the street or something? We're Trucy Wright's lawyers. Oh, okay. Lawyers. Got it. Well, what do you want? He must be really busy. He hasn't even looked this way. We're investigating the incident that occurred at the magic show this morning. And we heard that Roger Rettens was in charge of that program. Yeah, that's right. The guy hates magic, but the show is all his idea. Just between you and me, though, I think it was Bonnie that egged him on. Egged him on? How so? I saw the two of them together, you know, walking along arm in arm. I bet she sweet-talked him into doing the program because she wanted the work. She hasn't been selling very well on her own, apparently. Ooh, the tea is being spilled. Let's fucking go. I see. Oh, hey, if you're looking into the incident, I guess you'd want the show footage, right? On the disc in my back pocket, if you want it, go ahead and fish it out. I don't know why everyone has this fucking accent in here, but we're going with it. Wow, thanks so much. He turned out to be surprisingly helpful. Did we actually just get the show footage? Oh, it's a disc. How are we going to look at it? A disc with a recording of Trucy's escape trick on it is probably the same thing that we've seen before, though. I don't know, maybe not. This giant-ass roulette wheel. A slot machine and a roulette wheel, huh? They really went all in with the gambling theme. It looks like that slot machine really works. I've always wanted to give gambling a try. No, and it's a slippery slope. It's not worth it. Besides, you're not even old enough to gamble in most states yet. Oh, rip. Let's 
true. That's all right. I get to experience it enough in court. Guessing whether you'll win or lose the case on any given day. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I guess that's true, though. Don't worry, Apollo. I only bet on winners and I haven't lost yet. Aw, that was nice of her to say. Uh, anything back here? What's this then? Well, okay, before we look at that, what's this lot? Monitors? This must be a video production workstation of some sort. Huh, that coffee cup looks awfully familiar. Oh, wait, it's probably the same coffee. Well, I'm sure everybody in here gets the same coffee, right? Yeah, that's where Mr. Retton's always... Oh, sorry, that's stuff. Yeah, that's where Mr. Retton's always sits. He's very hands-on, you know. You'll always find him on the side of his projects. But... He was here at the station during the magic show, right? Yeah, well, he had two shows going on at once this morning. He had this regular program to oversee here, so he couldn't be at the Penrose. So, you can vouch for him that he was here at the station during the magic show? What? Like an alibi? Yeah, sure. He was definitely here. Still, after a while, he couldn't stand being away from the Penrose, it seems. As soon as his part was over here, he took a taxi to the theater. But it apparently didn't get there until after that thing had already occurred. So that kind of tracks with where we saw him after we got kicked out. Sounds like he has a rock-solid alibi. Alright. Well, I guess we got just about everything we can out of this place. Wait, no, there's Trucy on the big screen! Oh my god! It looks like Renton's ability is pretty airtight. But if that's true, then who could have killed Mr. Rias? Oh, looks like we're pretty much done here. Should we go back to the office? Wait, there's more I want to look at. We can get a snack and talk over our plan of attack. Sounds good to me. Wait, 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 no. Before we go, surely we can look at this. Look at that logo above the screen. Scandal Gamble Gambit is the title of this show? Yeah, haven't you ever seen it? They present scandalous rumors about celebrities. And the people bet on whether the rumors are true or not. Ugh, so it's just another tasteless TV show? It looks like Trucy's their next target. Today's scandal is... Tragedy on stage. Did Trucy Wright cause an accident, or did she commit murder? It looks like murder is in the lead. Great. Wonderful. I love that for us. Well, I say neither. Then we'll just have to create a third option tomorrow, in court. We're gonna do it. Alright, without everything. Did we miss anything? Don't want to miss a thing. No, these guys are kind of just hanging out. Nothing big here. No, I think we've done it. All right, back to the agency we go. Right, okay. We've got to be getting, like, slowly soon to the end of this investigation, no? Surely. Well, I don't even know what's going to happen in court tomorrow. I can't even picture how it's going to go yet. But, you know, bad for us, as usual. Right, okay. Let's see. What have we got? What in the world? What's wrong? <gasps> what the hell happened here? What's going on here? Wait, what does that say? Oh no, my eyes are not good enough to read that. Um, because it's very small on my screen, you see. All these stickers say repossessed. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait, because... Oh, because of the contract? Man, that hasn't even gone to effect yet. She hasn't even been arrested yet. Can't they wait? Who did this? Who's responsible for this? Whoa, 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 who's this? Who's this? Who's that? Whoa, now this is a restricted area, champ. No trespassing. Who the fuck are you? Bitch, you can't just walk in here. This is my office. Get the fuck out. Trespassing? This is our office. You're the one who's trespassing. Man, what the hell? Get the hell out of here, boy. Enough with the lip, boy. Don't tell me you forgot about your debt. What are you talking about? I'm just abiding by the contract. If the agency can't pay me, I have every right to seize its property, am I right? Just like that? We haven't even had a chance to take this to trial. Yeah, it's way too soon. <laughs> if you're gonna be mad, shouldn't Trusa be the one you're mad at? I told you, it serves you right for getting involved with those grammaries. Why, you dirty rotten... What the fuck? Well, this is terrible, actually. Office seizure. What are you gonna do with all our stuff? Sell it, of course. Every last bit of it. That's why I'm seizing everything. And I'll take this little office of yours, too. You think you can just waltz in here and do whatever you want? Get him, Athena. 
Indeed I do, unless you write whatever warehouse Joker's got three million ready. <sighs> I don't know then, because I gotta recoup my money somehow. After all, the entire program went south because of Trucy. It's called liability for compensation, and this infantile agency is the liable party. Why, you black-hearted... Hey, Apollo, what about the crooked clipboard? Well, don't, don't put that out now. It's no good. We don't have any proof that Rettens was behind it. Oh, darn. Maybe we should get fingerprints on that bad boy. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, folks. Looks like the fame Mr. Wright left behind nothing but incompetent noobs to run things. No way. He was counting on Mr. Wright to be away? Uh-oh, that definitely reeks. What's going on here? What a two-bit thug. We'll show him. Jesus Christ, what are we gonna do? Haha, <laughs> there's the sugar. That expression. It's priceless. So how does it feel to lose the precious office your boss left you in charge of? This guy is like Vox and Val together. Say something dumb? Okay, I'm on it. Ugh. Now, not to rub it in or anything, but I think you should know where you stand right now. Oh man, what now? Where we stand, okay? Here, have a gander. What's that? The trial of young and up-and-coming magician Trucy Wright is scheduled for tomorrow. We're here, just outside the office of the suspect, hoping for an exclusive peek inside. What? Is this live? Ah! Apollo, look! There's a sea of reporters outside! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, a questionable-looking pair peeking out the window at this very moment. Our viewers at home can see for themselves their vicious, brutal expressions. And that's slander I could sue. Yellow journalism at its finest. And that's the way it is. The majority of the public already thinks that Truce is guilty. They saw the whole thing happen with their own eyes during the show's live broadcast. Everybody in the country is against you. No way! No office, no allies. Are you sure you still want to represent that girl? Of course we do! We believe in her innocence. <laughs> Go ahead. Think what you want. It's a free country. Just know that you'll be the biggest losers in the end. In the meantime, feel free to keep on flopping around like the dying fish you are. Now then, you gotta be out of here by tomorrow. Take in this cozy little office tonight while you still can. Ha <laughs> ha! Hang loose, baby. Man, what a dick! Oh, I am gonna get him, no matter what I do. I can't believe we met Mr. R Mr. Wright's office get placed under seizure. Of all of the... This is just ridiculous. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Ah! Look out! Clear out. We don't want murderers here. What the fuck? She's not even in here. And she's in jail. Hey, if it's a fight you want, I'll take you on. Come on! Go get him, Athena. Just let her go. Yikes, let's get out of here before we get killed, too! I can't believe this is happening! We have to do something to protect ourselves, and fast! This is really bad! Holy shit, this is epic! Hello? On oh, my phone. Oh shit, the music! It's Mr. Wright. Oh, hey Phoenix, how you doing? Um... Yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, every, everything's great. Apollo, I got your messages. How is she? Is Trucy okay? She's not crying, is she? Does she have a lawyer? Uh, Mr. Wright, it's all a giant mess. Poor Trucy, and the office, our office. Apollo, okay, okay. We better both take a deep breath. Oh no. Oh shit. Wow, I see. And he's saying you have to be out by tomorrow? I'm so sorry, Mr. Wright. I, I wish there was something I could have done. This, this is quite the mess, isn't it? Oh, even if I left right now, I wouldn't be there in time for the trial tomorrow. I'm sorry, Apollo, but I need you to handle this for me. Of course, we can handle the defense, but the office. It's too soon to give up on that. What do you mean? The contract only addresses Trucy's liability if she causes the show to be canceled. So, you just have to prove in court tomorrow that it wasn't Trucy's fault. Hey, you're right! 
so everything depends on your winning that trial tomorrow. Trucy's fate and the fate of our office. It's all riding on your shoulders, Apollo. I... I know. I'll, I'll be fine. Right? Can do it, Apollo. It's okay. Apollo! I've been watching you grow over these past two years. That's why I can say with absolute confidence that you'll be fine. Phoenix! Really? I've seen you earn victory after victory in some pretty dicey situations. And guide Athena, helping her along the way too. That's why I know you're ready. Why I know I can leave Trucy in the office to you. I believe in you, Apollo. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I I'm fine. Everything will be fine. You can call me anytime if you feel you need to, but... But I I'll be fine on my own, right? Yes, I think so too. I, I can do this. Oh, this is so wonderful. That's the spirit. Give it your best out there, Apollo. Oh, Phoenix. That was great. He's probably worried like hell, right? But he's still, he was still there to encourage Apollo. That was so great. What is it, Apollo? What are you smiling about? Who, me? I, it's nothing. Mr. Wright believes in me. I, I can't let him down. We have to win this trial, Athena. I couldn't agree more, and I'll do anything in my power to help. Oh, they've got this. Oh, my team. We're back together. It's going to be okay. Our opponent tomorrow? Prosecutor Sadmari, huh? Why now, of all times? There's got to be a connection. Still, I don't care who it is. I can't afford to let my guard down for anyone. Oh, boy. My heart's racing just a little bit. This is really cool. <gasps> Yo! The person on the cover! Oh, restless, wandering soul of the dead. <laughs> Excuse me? Prosecutor Sadmati. Oh. Sorry to disturb you, but I figured I should tell you. The lead attorney's been decided. <gasps> it's... Apollo Justice. Apollo... Justice. <laughs> Excuse me? Great. Well, we've got a lot of simping to do, it seems, just on brand. For every time I do one of these, the prosecutors, you know, they got me in a bind. Well, this is going to be no different. I can't wait to meet him. So we will do that in the next one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I, oh, 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 you know, I can't wait to meet him. I will see you soon in the next episode. I can't wait to live.